So here we are again, about an hour ago. About an hour ago, we had pretty much clear skies. And it was so hot, I had to take off my shirt. Um, and I don't know, about 45 minutes ago, we saw a jet come over, sprayed. And they had probably been spraying off the coast there as well. But it seems like the sprays uh, were shorter than normal. It could be the, the weather that's making the spray shorter than normal, but they may be purposely making the sprays shorter than normal to uh, give people the impression that it may be somewhat of a normal contrail. The problem is that modern jet engines um, have the ability to run stealth, basically. Modern high, high bypass jet engine basically emits almost zero contrail. And they have the ability to run stealth. So I have some magazines here. This is a NASA magazine 85. And they're talking about mapping Venus with radar. Okay, 1985, NASA Tech Reach. Here's a popular science uh, magazine. 21st century jet engine. So, and this is 90. So, you can think about why they would make um, engines more efficient and not allow them to have contrails, particularly for, medic, medic, uh, for wartime. Uh, they wouldn't want them to have contrails. Now here's a NASA brief, and they're talking, this is January 90, they're talking about uh, an endangered world. So they know something's up. This is something's up. This is 1990. They know something's up with the environment, yet their solution is basically to spray particulates in our air and try and Frankenstein, GMO the weather to make it work for their investors. NASA is in fact a corporation. And let's see, this is a popular inventor. And let's see, this guy here, I can't remember exactly what he did, but he did something related to this. Oh, let's see if we can find what he did. I believe this guy's into nanotechnology. So he's developed nanotechnology. This is, oh, what is this, uh, 1990. Okay, so this is 1990. They have worked on com composite materials. Now these composite materials could be used for jet engines. They can make jet engines more efficient. Yet we see these guys spraying almost every day, and they're they're not they don't seem very efficient. And in fact, they are efficient, but they're spraying particulates to manipulate the weather. Okay, here's another one: supercomputers to build better engines. So this is also 1988. So they're using supercomputers to build better jet engines, okay? So, it's like, uh, something doesn't add up here. Okay, so, this is NASA Tech Briefs 1988, the evolution of smart materials. So this is like nano dust, smart dust, utility dust, whatever you wanna call it, that basically, they can spray in our air and once we inhale it, 
Yeah, it can do just about anything they program it to do. Once again, this is NASA Tech Briefs, 1988, October. Okay, here, this is Scientific America, 1990. They're talking about implanting genes. Basically, implanting genes. So if they're able to put some sort of genetic material in smart materials and implant it. Once again, this is 1990. This is says uh, minuscule quantum dot traps electrons in zero dimensions. So, I mean, this is, they're way ahead of us. They're way ahead of us. Strange matter. Oh, okay, so, at genetic time bombs. So here we go back here, implanting genes, genetic time bombs. So they could basically spray stuff that has genetic time bombs. It's like that movie Logan's Run, if you've never seen it. It's basically about a story of a society that you can only live to be, be like 25 or something like that, or 30, and then they they put you on, they give you the they give you the uh, the kill pill, or they they have you commit suicide for a better society because the older folks. You know, they can't work as hard as the younger folks. And the other thing is basically the older folks can't pass down the wisdom, wisdom or reason to the younger folks. That's what Lo the movie Logan's Run was about, sort of. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Microchip, Family Doctor, Future fu Foods. Levitating your work, to, your way to work. <coughs> so they're talking, 1988, Discover Magazine. Robot maids, levitating yourself to work. A car with a mind of its own. So, it seems the media right now is basically not talking about this stuff. It, which basically can control our society and what you hear on the mainstream media is sex scandals and and you know the the entertainers dying um, the entertainers um, you know that's about it sex drugs rock and roll you name it they'll pull the all the strings to get you thinking about something else rather than what we just talked about, okay? Okay, so that's my rant for today. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. But in St. Louis, the Army placed chemical sprayers on buildings and station wagons. City officials were kept in the dark about the tests. The Cold War cover story was that the Army was testing smoke screens to protect cities from a Russian attack. Clearly, they went to great lengths to deceive people. By making hundreds of Freedom of Information Act requests, she uncovered once classified documents that confirmed the spraying of zinc cadmium sulfide. The greatest concentration of this compound was sprayed near the Pruitt Idle housing complex just south of downtown St. Louis.